Hi everybody! Um, I haven't made a video for a while because my battery was dead, the charger didn't charge, so um, make a long story short, we have one now and the computer's back on. And uh, last video I did, I uh, was just on the brink of becoming President's Club member and I made it, yay, um, as of December of 2011. So I made it and it's been quite a while since I made a video. Um, for those of you who are striving to become um, to that level, the prime, uh, President Club, and you don't know how you know you've made it, well, I've tracked it so I knew my numbers, but if you don't know, you always can tell by the left-hand corner of your invoice. Um, as you'll see on here, see all the squiggly, pretty emblem? Um, see? President's Club! So that way you know you made it and you can have 40% earnings. So I just wanted to make a quick video um, just to give some tips that I've learned along the way that I've used that seem to help me to become a successful Avon representative. Um, first of all, does anyone know that you're an Avon representative? Um, pretty much everyone I know knows that I sell Avon. Um, when I go out and about, I'll wear my name tag, so it's always nice to invest in a name tag. This is the one I got off of uh, um, Avon Advantage. I love it, and I always get compliments on it. It looks very classy and professional. So just some quick tips, and these are not written in stone. They're just things that I've learned along the way that seem to help. Um, well, one, you have to have a bag, right? An Avon bag. And I know you get one in your kit, but that one's like a grocery bag and they break. So I've gone through so many. I mean, I switch off and on. Um, one that's really cute is this craft bag that you can get at Michael's or uh, Walmart. They have little pockets on the side, just the right size for those purse sprays, you know, the perfumes really really cute it has um, a little holder like that little handle and inside it's just a blank uh, not a blank <laughs> it's hollow so you can set your your um, brochures in here see like that so if you're out prospecting you can use that so that's one of them my favorite one is this big one I actually stole this idea from another rep <laughs> and it's a big craft bag from Michaels or uh, Walmart it has you know pockets on the side so you can put your personal items then it has more pockets and it has velcro pockets it has so many little pockets on the side you can put more of the samples like the purse sprays and I love it inside it's like a butler bag you know all the sections this one's empty right now because I've been using a different bag but you have room for your you know your samples you have room for your um, brochures and whatnot which brings me to what do you have in your bag well of course you have your brochures your mark brochures, your flyers, your leaflets, your main brochures. Um, you should have, what I like to do um, is carry a, an organizer, a, a planner, um, a calendar. Have your calendar in there. And um, I like to map down, jot every time I'm in the car, I like to jot my mileage down for tax purposes. And I have its own separate little dollar store. I love this calendar. It's a monthly planner and it's only a dollar at the Dollar Tree. And I like to jot all my mileage for every day and I like to keep my receipts for my gas. And if I if if I have food or whatever. Um oh and also let's see what else. Uh, what else do you have in your bag? Well, of course you have demos. You have your cards, you know, your business cards. I like to keep a small calculator with me 
some people um, are math whizzes, but I'm not. And of course, you want to keep your samples in there. And um, I like to keep always because I'm a, I, I like to recruit. I like to keep these little handy dandy recruiting flyers. I like to keep our Hello order book. Hello. It's our Avon order book. And I like to keep these with me just in case. You know, if someone doesn't know their ring size, I like to keep that with me. Um, let's see. What else? Oh, and I like to keep Try It kits with me. I do keep um, sign-up kits in my trunk. But just in case. Um, we need to do it real quick. I, I like to make uh, try it kits. And what that is, it's a uh, one of those, you know, the, the Avon bags with the hole in it. A couple of brochures and um, a sample and a couple of order slips. That way people can try it for free. Once they get their first $100 order, they can contact me. They pay $10 and we sign them up. Um... Another tip that I like to bring up, which helped me a lot with taxes, is save in an accordion file. This is what I do. I don't know if you can see it. Yes, it's an accordion file. <laughs> see? It kind of stretches as it gets bigger. But I love it because it has enough compartments for each campaign for the whole year. It has 30, and you only need 26. So what I like to keep in there are my invoices. Um, I like to keep the printout of all my customers that campaign and what I made off of them, you know, their amounts. I like to keep any credits and returns I've done, any bonus checks that I received, any uh, uh, appointment fees that I've uh, accumulated. Um, any expenses that I, I ha have accrued, uh, like if I bought some cards, I want to keep that receipt, keep my receipts in there. Um, I always keep the brochures for that campaign and I always put the what's new in there. I just put them all in there. Whatever was um, all about that campaign, I like to keep in that pocket. Um, and of course, you know, as you go along the way, you can download that um, tax form um, from youravon.com and uh, you can note all your expenses and brochures and demos and all that jazz. Um, so then real quickly, um, oh, don't ever miss a campaign, especially if you are trying to reach President's Club member. You know, at least have a $200 order. But if you are trying to become a President's Club member, an average of $400 a campaign is great. And don't skip an order. Because if you do, you will miss out on your brochures and ordering tools. I mean, remember, we order not the next campaign, but the following campaign. So if you miss one, you're going to miss that on those books. And please order on time. That really is good. You, you order on time and you pay on time and you have a great account, you, you have a good standing account with Avon. That's, what is a, that's a good tip to be uh, on your way to become a successful representative. Um, and they say that, you know, if you have 50 customers in your customer base, you can be putting food on the table. You know, not everybody's going to order every campaign. So if you can at least get 12 to 15 customers that campaign, you can put money in the bank or food on the table. You can have a successful wave on business. Um, remember, you don't sell, you don't earn. This is not a job, this is your business. You are a salesman, but you know, Avon representatives, I don't know, we're kind of a different breed, aren't we? <laughs> um, everyone loves Avon. Um, mostly everybody and if they don't well just walk away but anyway um uh if you notice that your sales are low and it's like four days before order date hmm and you feel like you need to get that up there your amount go out prospecting you know call all your customers just reach in there and work hard because it does pay off 
Um, please get a separate account for your Avon monies. Um, it just makes sense. Even if you don't have a checking account, please get an account for your Avon money. It just makes sense. Um, it is a business. Treat it like a business and not a hobby. It is a business. Um, and one thing that I wanted to touch on is when you go out prospecting. Say you go house to house. You want to just do it that way. You know, a good tip is have respect for someone else's property. Don't pick their flowers. Don't walk on their grass. Don't open their screen door to knock on their door. And don't peep in their windows. That's a, it's a respect thing. And I think everyone should follow that. Um, uh, another thing is don't use swear words out while prospecting. Don't use negative words. Use positive words. Be happy. Smile. Let people realize, oh, those are nice people, those Avon people. You know, I think I want to order from them. Don't be all swearing. and it just It's not professional. Oh, and another thing. Dress professionally. You know, um, a sweatshirt and flip-flops and jeans. I really don't think I want to order from you if you come up to my house like that. If you're professional and you're dressed nice, yes. You don't have to be dressed to the nines. You don't have to be rich and wear a Saks Fifth Avenue business suit. But, you know, especially if it's out of your league, if you're not used to wearing dresses, don't wear a dress. Just wear nice slacks or really dark blue jeans. They can have really nice, you can look really nice with dark blue jeans and a nice top and maybe some pumps or nice flat shoes. Just be polished and clean and just look professional. Um, mm, try to wear the Avon products. Jewelry, makeup, use the shampoo, paint your nails. If you're not a foo-foo kind of girl and you don't like that, you're very natural, that's fine. Use the skin products, use the facial products, use the lotion. That way you can give a personal testimonial to the products, you know? A lot of times women, when they like something, they can't help but talk about it. Well, if you're using the products and you like them, you won't be able to help yourself but talk about them. <laughs> and thus, sell them. Um, let's see what else. I've noticed, too, if you're out and about and there's a house that you come upon and you don't feel right, something's not right, don't go to it. Skip it. Um, I've been up to houses where they're so dirty, I don't even want to knock on the door. You know, I don't want a customer who can't even take care of their house because I don't know what kind of customer they're going to be. Um, am I going to want to go in their house when I bring the order? Probably not if it's this filthy. So you really have to be discreet. And I'm not, not discreet, but just um, really use your judgment. I'm not saying judge a book by its cover, but you pretty much have an idea. I mean, I have in my past experiences have an idea, you know, if this is the house I don't feel comfortable with, I'm going to pass it up and I don't want them to have my information. So if that makes me a bad rep, I, I guess I am, but I'm not because I'm a successful representative and I'm really trying to work hard. So that's how I feel. And remember guys, this is not written in stone. These are just basic little tips that I've learned along the way. And just working with the public too in my other job, you just, you kind of know I guess. Um, let's see. Um, what else? Doo -doo 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 -doo. Um, I think that was it. Oh, and also, when you first start out with Avon, remember to take advantage of those first four campaigns when you're with Avon. They really help you. They try to help you to boost up your business. Um, and they, they, really help you with that 40% uh, guaranteed earnings. So take advantage of that. And um, just, um, I, I guess that's it. And if I think of anything else, I will put more. But if you have any questions or comments, or maybe you feel like I'm doing something wrong, or you have a tip for me, let me know. That would be great. But I just noticed that um, as a person who lives in a house, I don't want someone coming up to my house and banging on my door, opening my screen door, or looking into my house, or walking on my lawn, or picking my flowers. And I've seen some reps do that, and I just cringe, and I don't really want to be out there when they do that. 
you know, you're already putting yourself out there. Make it a good experience. Okay, guys. Um, happy Avoning. <laughs> okay, bye.